Do you need some new flats? Maybe to complete your next cosplay. Or maybe you have some spare fabric and wanting to do a little DIY project. Whatever the reason, here's the way I do my shoes. What you'll need. A shoe base, plastic wrap, masking tape, a marker, scissors, a ruler, paper, fabric, I'm using a non-stretch here, but it can also work well with stretch fabric, matching thread and needle, pins, a sewing machine, and if you're wanting to add bulk to a part, say like a point on top of a toe, some stuffing. The shoe base I generally use is a canvas shoe. They are cheap, easy to sew through, and can be cut into to change the shape if needed. Another alternative for super comfy shoes is to use what I call nano slippers as a base. To start, we have to make the pattern. Firstly, wrap the entire shoe in plastic wrap. Be sure not to wrap it too tightly. Then lay a masking tape over the entire fabric portion of the shoe. Grab your marker and draw the upper edge of the shoe and also the connecting point to the sole. You may need to fill around a bit for it. Then draw in a seam line at the centre back and down the front. Before we go any further, let's quickly explain a shoe with an added bulk part. In this case, a point at the toe. After wrapping the shoe in plastic wrap, grab some more plastic wrap and sculpt the shape you want loosely and then add it onto the shoe. Then grab the masking tape to secure it into position, but also to mould it a bit. Then go ahead and draw in the lines. I recommend adding a gusset section as shown here to reduce stress on the material. Now let's jump back to the original shoe. Go ahead and label the pieces. Then stick your scissors in and cut the pieces out. Obviously cutting the plastic wrap and masking tape, not your shoe base. Remove excess plastic wrap. Now to add your seam allowance. Pin your pieces to paper and using a ruler, add the seam allowance. I did a one centimeter allowance for the bottom and seams and a 1.5 allowance for the top. Just a note, if you're using four-way stretch fabric, you can skip this step. Then cut it out and you've got your pattern pieces. Now it's time to grab your fabric, double it over, pin those pattern pieces down and cut those bad boys out. And voila, now you have your pieces. First thing to do is to hem the top edge as this will be prone to fraying as you take your shoe on and off. I used a rolled hem. Then I pinned the fabric together, right sides facing each other, and sewed the seams. They're starting to look like covers now! At this point, it's all about decoration if you're planning to add some. Here is an example of a shoe that I added a satin and lace applique and also some beads. For the pink shoes, my design has a pearl spray over them, so I added those at this point. Next up is pinning time. Turn the cover inside out and line it up with the base of the shoe. Measure out the allowance you gave and pin the cover in place. It is helpful to pin the centre back and front first and ease in the material. Once you're done, your shoe will look like a beautiful medieval torture device. No. Time to stick your hand in there! Okay, I'm not joking, but do be careful. Using your needle and thread, sew the fabric to the base and get as close as possible to the sole. I recommend starting at the sides and working your way around to the front, as the front is the most difficult area, and let's face it, the less chance of pin stabbing you, the better. Once that is done, turn your fabric up the right way. You may need to manipulate your shoe a bit to achieve this. Quickly jumping back now to the pointed shoe again. It is at this stage you will stuff the hollow shape with enough stuffing to make it firm. Look at that point, it's like an elf shoe. Then it is the home stretch. Fold the top lip of the fabric inwards, pin it into position, and then whip stitch it down. Try to avoid going through the fabric on the outside by catching only the lip of the fabric and the shoe base. And with that, your shoes are done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you. Please don't forget to like my Facebook page and don't forget to share this tutorial with your mates.